Hey there, Joel here and welcome to my channel Math World. Today we are going to learn how to solve MCQ questions from the chapter Introduction to Trigonometry. So without wasting much time, let's go ahead and solve them. The first question is, if cosec 18 is equal to sec A, then measure of angle A is dash. The options are 18, 36, 72 and 162 degrees. So first of all I will just tell you how to quickly solve and get an answer for this and then we are going to understand why exactly we have done that you know calculation part. So all you have to do is wherever for any function the angle is given just do 90 minus that angle and your answer is done so over here cosec 90 or rather so here cosec 18 is given right so all I will do is whichever angle is given I'll just do 90 minus that angle so 90 minus 18 is equal to that angle right so which is 72 and you're done you will get one mark for this subtraction that you have to do coming to the logic behind solving this you need to learn these formulas now I'm sure you'll be wondering like I have already learned so many formulas in this chapter now some more formulas okay technically speaking they're very easy all you have to remember first is what is it trying to tell you it tells you that sine of some angle okay I can write it equal to in terms of cos by just complementing it so if you remember your 8th standard or 6th standard portion complementary angles were nothing but two angles which sum up to give you angle is 90 degrees right so two angles which sum up to give you angle 90 so here sine theta can be written in terms of cos by writing 90 minus that angle of theta okay same way cos theta can be written in terms of sine by just writing 90 minus that theta so over here it is cosec 18 in terms of sec right so let me check where is cosec cosec is over here so cosec here it is theta right so let us imagine this is 18 so cosec 18 can be written in terms of sec by writing 90 minus that angle 18 right so 90 minus 18 would be 72 that's the reason you know I have done straight away 90 minus the angle over here now how do I remember this? If you have watched my first video, I have already taught you this. You will write sine cos 10 cot sec cosec. Please follow the order and write OA OA H H. This gives us sine represents opposite upon hypotenuse and so on and cosec represents hypotenuse upon opposite. Okay? This is one part of it. Next is if you want to remember these formulas from here, all you have to do is remember these arrows. Okay? And you are done. Okay? So, sine can be written in terms of cos by just writing cos. 90 minus the angle right so sine theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta same way I can write 10 theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta so these are the way that they are related all this relationship is here in these three arrows x square theta now if at all you have learned those identities good but you, if you haven't then the way you can remember it this arrow represents the same thing 
sin square theta plus cos square theta is 1. Here there is another arrow. 1 plus tan square theta is sec square theta and 1 plus cot square theta is cosec square theta. So you have to learn it and all you have to do is remember it using the same table. I hope this part is clear. If you have not watched those videos, I will link them in the description box. Go ahead, watch them, learn how to solve those identities and so on. Okay, let us go to the next question. Okay, let us solve the second question using the proper logic. So here you are given, if 10 theta is equal to cot 23, then measure of theta is dash. So I want to change cot in terms of 10. So all I will have to do is write 10 90 minus 23. So here I have written 10 theta as it is, is equal to cot I have tried to convert it into 10 by writing 90 minus the angle. So when I do that, this 10 and this 10 will get cancelled and I will be left with theta is equal to 90 minus 23 which is 67. Okay, so let us solve the third one. I hope this is visible. One second. Alright, so here. A ladder of length 8 meters is placed against the wall such that it reaches to the top of the wall of height 4 meters. Therefore, the angle formed by the ladder to the ground is dash. Okay, so let us entire, it uh, looks like, you know the MCQ question is such a big one, but let's draw it in a figure and then you'll understand that it was very simple. Okay, so I have a figure over here. I am told that there is a ladder which is placed against the wall. What is the height of the wall? Height of the wall is 4 meters. So 4 meters. Okay. What is the length of the ladder? 8 meters. And you are asked to find that angle which is you know made by the ladder and the ground. So ladder and the ground will be this angle. Correct. So for us to understand, if we are looking from this angle, which is that trigonometric function, which is going to deal with this side and this, okay, which is opposite side upon hypotenuse. So opposite upon hypotenuse is nothing but sine of some angle. Correct. So here we are already given that opposite is 4 upon hypotenuse is 8. Now these numbers can be cancelled off so I can write 4 1 and 4 2 is 8. Now for which angle of sine your answer is 1 upon 2. Okay. So for which angle of sine the answer is 1 upon 2 and if you know that much then you already know the value of theta. Okay, so you can always comment the answer, write the serial number 3 and write down the answer. Please go ahead and you can pause the video and solve it. You can try this problem, problem number 4 same question all I have done is changed the height of the wall to 6 meters and height of the ladder to be 12 meters question is exactly the same just that the values are changed so what is the angle you can give me the answer all right let's solve question number five cos 27 minus sine 63 degrees is dash options are 2 3 0 and 1 now we have already discussed problems where one angle was given and the other one was some random alphabet or theta. But here you are given both the places angles. So all you have to do is don't mess it up by changing cos to sine by writing 90 minus 27 and changing sine to cos by writing 90 minus 63. It will not solve any problem. So all you have to do is change only for one 
so either you change for cos or you change for sine so here what I've done is changed this so cos I have written in terms of sine by writing 90 minus the angle okay and this part is as it is so here this would become sine 90 minus 27 is 63 or rather this sign and this sign will get cancelled and what will remain is angle 63 is equal to 60 minus 63 which gives you the answer is 0 because here there is a minus and it so this is minus so this minus this finally will give you as 0 so correct answer is 0 sixth question if sine 6 is equal to cos 3x then value of x is dash your options are 9 10 15 16 now in this case all you have to do is don't get scared by looking at you know 6x just consider this entire thing as one angle same way this is one angle so cos of Whatever it might be, sometimes you would have 60 or 25 or whatever angle. In this case, it is cos of 3x. Alright, so here you can change either sine to cos or cos to sine. So I've changed cos in terms of sine. So sine will become cos 90 minus the angle. So 6x. So this cos and this cos will get cancelled. Finally, what I will be left with is 90 minus 6x is equal to 3x. Now, I'm sure you can solve this simple math over here. You'll have to take this minus 6x on the other side. So, a negative will become positive and then add them up, divide that number with this 90 and finally, whatever you get, the value is value of x. Solve it and you can write the answer in the comment section. Just write the serial number 6 and write the answer. So that I know that you have attempted it. Let's solve the next question. Seventh question is the numerical value of 1090 is dash. So here they have not given any option. But uh, if you remember the first video on introduction to trigonometry, I have shown you that entire table and one of the angle was 1090 because we have learned 0 then 30 45 60 and 90 for all these angles we have learned the values of sine cos tan cot sec and cosec so all you have to do is just write down what is the value of 1090 okay so similarly find out numerical values for this too as a part of exercise you know learning these uh, trigonometric numerical values so go ahead try them and if you don't know what I'm talking about I will link the video of introduction to trigonometry in the description box go ahead and watch that once you watch that video you will be able to understand what are we actually discussing so you just have to write down value of cosec 60 one number cot 45 just that nothing else you can also comment the entire answer in the comment section all right question 9 is similar to the previous question that we have solved that is question number 6 if 10 4x is equal to cot 2x then the value of x is dash so all you have to do is change either 10 or cot in terms of their complement and minus it with 90 take the same terms on one side add them divide them whatever arithmetic that you have to do do it and get the answer for x the options are over here 2 6 15 and 45 question number 10 if 3 cos square theta is equal to 9 upon 4 and theta is an acute angle then what is that theta? Your options are 0, 30, 60 and 90. So let us solve this one. Here 
I have written this entire thing again. So 3 cos square theta is equal to 9 upon 4. Now I don't know any way to write down values for square of some angle. So all I will do is take a root sign. So take a root sign over here and take a root sign over here. Now we know that when you take a root sign, the root and the square get cancelled. So here what will happen is root 3, I can't do anything so it will remain as root 3. Cos square theta under root sign will just become cos theta is equal to, please ignore the sound, uh, root of 9 upon 4. Root 9 is nothing but 3 and root 4 is 2. So I have simplified this. Now what I will do is take this root 3 on the other side. So when I do that it would become, I hope this is visible, cos theta is equal to 3 of 3 upon 2 into root 3. So just observe over here first. So root 3 is taken here. Now this 3 can also be written as root 3 multiplied by root 3. And finally what will happen is this root 3 and this will get cancelled and cos theta will be equal to root 3 upon 2. Now are we finding what is the value of cos theta? No, you have to find out only the angle. So for that you have to again remember the numerical values. For which angle of cos you get the answer as root 3 upon 2. What I mean by this is for sine 0 it is 0. Sine 30 is half. Okay. Sine 45 is 1 upon root 2. So like that for which angle of cos you get the answer as root 3 upon 2. And that is cos 30. So your answer to this question is 30 degrees. And I hope you have understood all these 10 MCQs that we have solved as a part of introduction to trigonometry. Uh, if you did then go ahead and please hit the like button, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. This is Joel saying bye bye to you, take care and please solve all the problems because unless and until you solve you won't get better at it. Take care and bye bye.